Berkeley Lab is a research lab dedicated to doing energy research. We're part of the University of California in addition to being funded by the Department of Energy. And we do research in the photon sciences, biosciences, life sciences. One of the challenges we face uh, is we're an open science institute. So a lot of the scientific collaboration here, it expands our organizational boundaries. A lot of the times it expands even international boundaries. So there's a lot of sharing that goes on and so we have to enable it, give them the tools to be able to do that. My priorities as a CIO of the lab are cybersecurity, primarily. We partnered with UC and we did a comprehensive evaluation of the privacy, security, policy around Google security and Google applications. And also we're really challenged by trying to have data centers that are as energy efficient as possible. I think moving to any cloud service is the right move in terms of energy efficiency and it's hosted by Google so it reduces our footprint in terms of servers that we have. We're moving 5,000 users to Google Apps. We did an evaluation of various tools for collaboration. We looked at functionality, we looked at cost, and we looked at resiliency and Google scored the highest on all three. We looked at how easy it is to use, how it integrates with other applications, so the whole suite, did it work well together, how it supports mobile devices. So the big thing that Google Docs and Google Sites gives us is gives us, our, our users, our scientists, the ability to collaborate. Instead of sending out 10 copies of a document and getting comments back and having to put them all together, you're working with one document where everybody has made their edits. It was a really challenging thing to have like a redundant system for email. You know, it was uh, cost prohibitive, it was difficult to set up and maintain. Google has to worry about that. They have to have multiple data centers, they have to be able to, in the event of some kind of disaster, recover immediately. I don't have to worry about that any longer. The cost savings for the lab in this move would be somewhere in the area of about a million and a half to two million dollars over a five-year period. For male, you know, there's not a whole lot of training. The, the learning curve is pretty low. And we're getting about 80% of our people that are saying that they prefer Google Mail over the previous system. People really like the mobile aspect of Google Apps. They like the ability that they can get to their email, their calendar from multiple different computers, from mobile devices. I believe that we'll be able to repurpose not only servers, but people. We are putting people now in areas that are growing. Um, without having to find additional funding. It's surprising how many people are working on the customizations for Google Apps, and so the features keep improving. And we don't have to plan for the downtime and the patching and the notification about those new features being introduced. Google takes care of that side for us. We're no longer the people who know how to use the tools and have to train you. We are the concierge. We direct you to the tools. We direct you to the Google Apps suite. And I think that that's one of the shifts for CIOs to, to move into that direction.